One of the most important reactions for the family of alkenes is the formation of polymers. And this reaction is very different from the one that we have seen as electrophilic addition. In this case, the reaction will be called polymerization. Addition of a catalyst to an alkene can result in the break in the double bond, yielding a reactive intermediate that contains an unpaired electron. That is what we call a free radical. To explain a free radical, I want to use a simple molecule as that of hydrogen. We have a single bond where two electrons are being shared evenly. We can have a heterolytic cleavage. That means that one of the two hydrogens is taking both of the electrons to form an anion, that is a negative charge due to the two electrons, and a cation. And when we have homolytic cleavage, we can cleave the bond evenly and each one of the hydrogens is taking one electron, forming two free radicals. Radicals are highly reactive species. The reaction begins by the addition of a species that is called an initiator to the alkene double bond. This results in the breaking of one of the bonds making up a new bond between the, in the initiator and the alkene. This product is a highly reactive intermediate which adds to a second alkene molecule. The result is a continuous addition of one monomer after another to the end of the growing chain. So we started with two carbons long, we have four carbons and we can continue adding to the double bond forming a brand new radical. By convention, the repeating unit is included in a parenthesis and this N represents how many units are included in the polymer.